Schrodinger's equation is given much of a credit for quantum mechanics. And yet, without additional postulates, the equation means absolutely nothing. You see, there are independent postulates which are absolutely crucial to making sense of this quantum mechanical theory. One of them was provided by Max Born. The Schrodinger equation simply tells us how the wave function evolves with time. But it was Max Born who postulated that the wave function amplitude has something to do with the probability of the particle being found. And yet, we don't really spend much time trying to figure out where this postulate came from and what was the inspiration behind it. Let's take a moment to answer that question. You see, Max Born was inspired by none other than Einstein himself. You see, when light falls on a particular surface, electrons are emitted. But below a certain frequency, it doesn't happen. So Einstein said that light consists of photons and every single photon has an energy proportional to its frequency. But classically, we know that the energy of any kind of a wave has something to do with its amplitude. So what if we increase the energy or the intensity of the incident radiation? It simply increases the number of photons. And we know that the energy of the beam has something to do with the amplitude mod squared. And this was the crucial inspiration for Max Born. That the amplitude of the incident radiation has something to do with the number of photons and as a result the probability of photoelectric emission. Max Born took this inspiration further to connect the wave function amplitude with the probability of an actual matter particle being found in a given region. And this was the moment where the mathematical equation given by Schrodinger actually connected to physical reality and gave birth to the probabilistic world of quantum mechanics.